I'm in New York and we finna get loose. It's Madden NFL 24 on EA Sports, and we've got a showdown in the AFC West. It's the Raiders and the Broncos. All that and more coming up next. We find ourselves at the foot of the Rockies, Denver, Colorado, for this edition of the NFL on EA Sports. And today we start the new season with an AFC West division battle right out of the gate, as it'll be the Las Vegas Raiders taking on the Denver Broncos. Alongside Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gordon. Well, CD, new season is here. Lions and Chiefs got it going on Thursday night. You and I were there. What a scene that was. But now here we are a few days later on Sunday. Look at the two teams with great expectations. throw here on first down that's complete into the hands of Myers and mark him down way up close to the 40 at the 39 getting it to him in space pays off big time that winds up going for 31 well my dad would say sometimes I'm just scratching my head here trying to figure out what was going on there defensively how did you lose him in the middle of the field if you're going to lose a receiver make sure it's someone on the short side of things not deep downfield that can hurt your defense. So that play much needed there as they're all the way up near the 40 for a first and 10. Back to throw. And that's complete to Adams. A gain of eight there on the play. And that'll bring up a second down in just a couple. Well, from their point of view, this game could not be starting out much better, could it? Force a punt on defense, and now they're moving it crisply on offense. Crisply, I like that. Like yeah, that? yeah, moving it very, very well. Looks like the defense on there. He also a bit. You put a score in here, long way to go, but you're right. That's a heck of a start. Yeah, and I think this is where the play caller is looking at his play sheet and saying, do I have that dagger play? Do I have that play and just finish him off right now? Because I think they'd love to gain that big advantage early. Show a first and 10 now in Denver territory at the 32-yard line. They'll drop to throw. Completing it to the right side, Johnson. And only able to get two here, stopped at the 30. Here's a second and eight. They'll stick with the passing game as he looks to throw. Gets it downfield to Mayer, and he will score. Touchdown, Las Vegas. Michael Mayer, his first NFL reception goes for six. And the Raiders are on the board here first in the season opener. Well, Charles, kind of the future of this franchise on display right there. You had a rookie throwing it, a rookie catching it, and taking it into the end zone. Could you imagine if we were in the owner's box right now and we could look at the front office and see the grins on... First carry for the All-Pro running back, it's Josh Jacobs. He's still barreling through. <laughs> and he gets this one inside the 15, just a yard or two shy of the 10. A big run there, 29 yards and a first. Coming in, he really liked his chance of having a big year based on a terrific offseason. And runs like that on opening weekend show that he's right. And this is caught. Touchdown. Devontae Adams, a 12-yard touchdown grab. And the Raiders are able to strike quickly to add on to their lead. Well, it's only week one, CD, but right now this offense, they look in mid-season form. And what we're seeing is the benefits of all their dedication in the offseason, OTAs, mini camps, preseason, you name it, they did it. All that work and preparation, we're seeing them play really well right now. They're making it all pay off. Set. 
They'll try and start this drive in the air. He finds his man complete. It's Jacobs. And they're able to get this one across the 35. Right off the bat, it's a first down to start the drive. 12 yards. First down, the Raiders. They'll look to throw here. It's caught here by Adams. And able to get this one across the 45 before he's brought down. That one will go as a gain of 11. Raiders having a first down as well. Good strong throw and catch right there. And so far in this game, the alleys have been open for them to get completions, and they're taking advantage of it. Running straight ahead is Jacobs. And he's got it across midfield and into Denver territory. It's a six-yard pickup, and it gets him to second and four. That's a really nice job by them picking up the run blitz and detecting it and blocking it and turning it into a nice run. And a lot of times you think if you blitz a running play, you're going to smother it. But a lot of the blitzers, they come in a little bit high. They don't have great leverage, and they're easily blocked and turned to the side. Second catch for him today, and it'll wind up a first down. A nice completion there for the first down. And, Charles, you think about the quarterbacks of recent vintage that have been thrust into action week one. It's no guarantee of future success, but we sure have seen some good ones. We certainly have, partner. How about Joe Burrow with the Bengals in 2020? He was excellent. Kyler Murray with the Cardinals. The best part about his game has his team right on the brink of the playoffs. And Deshaun Watson has won division titles after having started from day one. They'll set up to throw. And it's going to be caught for a Raider touchdown. Jacoby Myers, 30 yards. And the Raiders go up by two touchdowns. So a good start to the campaign so far for them here in week one. Yeah, all the things that you dreamed about in April and May and that you worked on in July and August, getting ready for this game, it's all coming together so far. They'll begin on the ground with Jacobs. A nice little juke. And they nearly get this all the way to midfield. Mark him down at the 49. 59 yards rushing for him in this first half as he is looking in mid-season form here in the opener. Most of their damage has been dumped through the air. I mean, they've rung the bell three times with passing touchdowns. But guess what? Ground game has not been neglected. Nice little burst right there. From the shotgun, he'll look to throw. Throw left side, complete. That's Jacobs. Call it a gain of six on the play, and it'll be second down. Another completion there. And you think about the draft back in the spring. He's selected in the first round, getting the start here, as we mentioned in week one. It's got to be a whirlwind for a young quarterback. Absolutely, because going in the first round, people don't plan for you to be the starter right away, but many teams want you to get your feet wet first you know maybe just kind of hang out behind a veteran starter in this case though he ascended right to the top roar and i know he's excited about the opportunity big plays are starting to become the trend here in this first half and everything that they've tried has worked and there's another example right there a chance to really cap off a big first half here as they come up on first and goal They'll set up a throw. And he'll take it into the end zone for a Raider touchdown. Taking it in from four yards out. And the Raiders will extend their lead in the final minute of the half. That touchdown, Charles, the first rushing TD of his rookie year. I don't know that he's going to be Lamar Jackson or Russell Wilson or Josh Allen at this stage of his career. On the ground, Jacobs will get the third quarter started. And he's going to get a solid gain of nine before being brought down. Second and right at a yard. 
Good yardage there on first down, exactly what you want. Get yourself set up to keep making first downs, keep the clock running. And if they're smart, you're starting to milk the clock. No hurry before you run your second down play. And a second down pass play there, but it's incomplete. One thing you hope to see out of a rookie tight end is a real concentration when the ball's in the air, and I'm not sure that he didn't, but he has to be prepared for people making a play on it when that ball's up for grabs. He finds his man, Johnson. And he is going to have the Raiders first down as they're able to convert by plenty there on third and one. But let's be honest about the whole thing. When you're looking for a reliable set of hands on third down, the first thought is often not fullback. But that's who they turn to there. And he does a nice job of securing the football and picking up the first down. Now a give to Jacobs running right. Oh, a heck of a move. Oh, man. And he's going to be out of bounds, but not before he takes it inside the 40. That good for 22 and a first down. A nice carry by Jacobs who's coming off a career year. Just when it seemed like Vegas may have been ready to move on from him. Led the NFL with over 1,600 yards and was more than deserving of his first All-Pro selection. So first and 10, and if they score on this drive, might have to start digging in our second half blowout material. The throw over the middle, taken in. And he gets this one inside the 15, just a yard or two shy of the 10. A good pick up there, 26 yards. This offensive game plan has just been sensational. I mean, when you think about all the different ways they've gotten their receivers open so far, it's really been impressive. Scheme, design, execution. And he's tackled a yard short of the marker. Good gain of nine on first down. Just need a yard here, second and one. Now back to throw. And this is caught. Touchdown, Raiders. Zach Gentry from a yard out. And the Raiders are looking good here in the season opener. They'll start this drive out on the ground. And he'll take this ahead for about four. Second down coming up. Well, the end of all that hitting and hollering, it was a four-yard run, so the offense is going to go back there and feel pretty good about themselves. Defensively, you have to feel okay because you didn't let it turn into a bigger run. But the goal, shut it down for two yards or less. That's when you start to feel good about yourselves. And up to the 35 before they're able to knock him down. He had the touchdown earlier. This one's going to get him a first down. He'll look to throw. A pass complete downfield to Renfro. And he has a big gain inside the 40 before being dropped. A very solid gain of 27. Well, those backups on the sideline, they got to be eagerly anticipating the fourth quarter upcoming. Look at the size of the lead, how they're moving the football. This defense really struggling and giving up plays like we just saw. Yeah, the Stars have certainly done all they've needed to in this one, haven't they? But my question is, will we be able to resist the urge to continue to run things up a bit and get his main guys a few bonus stats before he calls them off the field? And he will score. Touchdown, Las Vegas. Josh Jacobs, 39 yards. And the Raiders have taken a five-touchdown lead. Well, C.D., I mean, simply put, if anyone around the league wasn't paying attention to them to start the season, they will be heading into week two. This has been an impressive week one performance. They certainly announced that they are ready to go, haven't they? They wanted to send a message out to the rest of the league. You better put... start on the ground here on first down 141 yards rushing for him now as he has been tremendous all day long that's it that's what you want straight ahead positive gain just keep that clock ticking 
Here's a second and two now from the 33. Back to throw here. Oh, the slant connects with Devontae Adams. And he'll be taken down, but not before he works it past the 50. That'll put him at 95 receiving yards now as he's got a first down. Tell you what, Parker, the way he's been slinging it in this one, I think he should be ticketed for a baseball cap and a set of headphones for the next drive. He's been absolutely sensational. But one thing we've both learned about quarterbacks in this league, they often stay on the field longer than you expect. On the handoff, this is Jacobs. And he'll manage to pick up about four in second down. Brandon, I've got to think this offensive line has got some smiles on its faces. It, and I know it sounds crazy, but they practiced for this back in training camp. They knew they'd be in situations where it'd be extra defenders in the box coming after them, trying to keep them from locking down a game. Right now, they want to show the world they're up to the challenge. Second down, Jacobs once more. And he'll get it inside the 40 to the 39. Six yards the pick up, and that's a first down. Well, that's a carry they have to be satisfied with. And throughout this game, they've been satisfied with what he's given them. Whenever they've needed a big run, a first down, he's the guy they've turned to. And it doesn't matter what the defense thinks. They feel like they've got the confidence to keep handing it to him and keep picking up good yardage. Once again, it's Jacobs. This will be stopped about two yards shy of the marker. Eight-yard gain, second and two. Well, they'll take that every time with a lead. First down, fourth quarter, getting eight yards. You love that. They will take it, and you have to ask the defensive guys, why did you give it? I mean, you know the situation. You're down, have to stop them, have to get the football back. But eight yards on first down puts them back on their heels. On second down, Jacobs shoves him aside. And inside the 20 before he's brought down. Give him a first down, 15 yards that time for the Raiders. It carries like that. That's how they're going to continue to salt this thing away here, Charles, in the fourth quarter. Yeah, how about that? A new set of downs. Clock continues to move. No better way to close out a game than to tap those mastodons you have up front and say, guys, keep pounding them. Let's keep the ball, keep their offense on the sidelines, and let's close this one out. They go play action here on first down. And that's going to be caught for a later touchdown. Devontae Adams. Already his second touchdown here in this opening weekend. And the Raiders are closing in on a winning start to the year as they extend their fourth quarter lead. Yet another touchdown in what has just been a high-scoring affair, a fun one to watch. And it's the rookie quarterback, Charles, coming through with yet another touchdown pass to pad the lead. Did we come into this game where defense was optional? Because it certainly... They'll start this drive out on the ground. And for one of the few times here today, this run's not going to go anywhere. No gain on the play. It'll be second down. Second and 10 at the 20-yard line. Here's a handoff to Jacobs. Fights forward for only about a yard up to the 21. Let's give a lot of credit to the offensive line. They've been able to move the ball really well on the ground the entire game. And while that wasn't a huge one, that's okay. They'll take them in short, steady bursts. Just two minutes remaining here in the fourth quarter of what has been a one-sided affair. Third and nine here. 
out of the gun. They'll look to throw. Opted to run for it. The decision a good one. Picking up the first, getting 14 yards on the scramble. As we both know, there's a lot that went into why they made him their first round pick this year. And part of it was what they saw in college, his playmaking ability when things break down. As soon as he saw he wasn't getting a lane to throw, he pivoted and found an alternate way to the marker. And they take a knee. And they'll indeed take a knee. Well, this was not just the opener of a brand new season, but this was a division game here in week one. And to come through with a 1-0 start against a division opponent gives you a little something extra heading forward for the rest of the season. Yeah, let's pile it all into one game, right? Opening the season and you open within the division, you knew the motivation was going to be there on both sidelines. One just executed better.